Hey everyone, Crazy Canuck coming at you again on a beautiful Ozark evening in Missouri. Uh, finally finished one of my horizontal hives. These are the ones that I designed to stack, but I made this one as an individual. And I'll show you what I did here. So what you see here is some leftover boards from my renovation. There, there's my pencil. Pull these up. There's a following board right here. So what I'm going to do is I got a hive that's going to get transferred into here. First frame. I'm, I'm going to assume that they're going to put honey in the first frame and then go with the brood nest after that. So these I did. I haven't quite finished them yet, but there's going to be a bunch of frames coming out of the hive. So I'm just going to pull those out. These are meant for the brood. So I put eighth inch rod across. So this way they can build whatever they want. I also, I also waxed in a little starter strip on the top. So those, I'll probably checkerboard these in, in place. Um, hopefully it stays in where it's supposed to be. Rotate. And uh, then when we get back into the honey, they'll be putting it on cell right foundation again. So that's the plan, and I'll see how far back I get with this. So I have to move over one of my plastic boxes over to there where the hives are. I'm going to take that first hive and transfer that into here, into the uh, horizontal hive. Then I got some metal spacers for that Langstroth hive, and I'll show you why I got the spacers for that. I'll be right back once I get suited up and moved over there. All right, all suited up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move this hive off to the side, and then I'll get the uh, horizontal hive set up and ready. And then uh, we'll go in and take a look, see how things are progressing. I'm hoping that uh, they're packed right up and uh, due for an expansion. And once I have the horizontal hive set up, it's going to make things a lot easier. And depending how they perform in there, I'll set up all the rest of them as horizontal hives as well. So I'll be back once I get, get a little more uh, organized. All right, just found out I can turn my camera on with my gloves on. That's gonna be handy. So I got everything oriented. It'll look very happy. So I tried to orient the entrance as close to their original entrance as possible. So now we'll give them a, give them a little bit of smoke. Tool. Looks like they're building on top of the on top of the frames. Everybody's looking good there. I'll just put them out here. So what I'm looking for is uh, on the ends to have honey in the frames. And it looks like they haven't even built out these frames yet. So they're nowhere near swarm mode. But this is what I was talking about putting the spacers in. When I built these, I didn't put the, spa the spacers on the frames themselves. They were just homemade, uh, quick and easy. So, because I knew I was gonna put the spacers in eventually. So I'm gonna transfer some of these over. <clears throat> and I'll come back when I'm done. All right, so I got them transferred over. I did see the queen, some great, great pattern uh, for laying. They're going to just be busting loose here 
another week or so. And I just got to make sure I got this these tops off cleaned off nice. Don't want to interfere with the board top boards. Mm -hmm. So I put in a this frame is out of their their hive. Then I checkerboarded two of the frames that have the uh, um, dowels running through them. And then I put four uh, frames on the end here that have foundation in. So then I'll move the following board into place. Just like that. And then I'll put the boards back on top, throw the lid on and she's good to go. And then I'll show you what, I, what I'm gonna be doing with, with that uh, momentarily. There, horizontal hive is all set up, number one. So uh, they're about to bust loose with, with a, lot of, a lot of brood. There was three frames full of brood. Uh, so they're, they're gonna be going hard here in a few days. So now I'll show you what I talked about with the spacers. These barrels, that's another project that I'll be uh, sharing with you shortly. Uh, these are the spacers. They're cheap, they're 86 cents. And for that, what it does is space out the frames. Uh, so there's no guesswork. You just put them in, they go in their slots and that's it, it's, you're, you're done. It also protects the, the wood edge. So they just go in with little nails. Little, I've got little three quarter inch nails. I got that one started. And of course, to avoid uh, many swear words and uh, injuries, I, I use a uh, plier or, or something to to grab them, put them in the hole, and then you hammer them home. And uh, avoids a lot of sore fingers. So that's, uh, that's the edges. I'm gonna get these two on and I'll show you how the frames go in. And that's why I built them without any, any of the uh, spacers that the ones that you buy have. I'll be right back. So there I got them both in and as you can see you just drop them in place. And they got no, no choice but to be perfect. No moving them around or trying to space them or turn them sideways. It, you know they go in nice and straight. Uh, this, these spacers are set up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frames. Uh, without the spacers, you could probably get another frame in here, but this will, uh, the nine frames works out nice, especially when it's this easy. You can, just throw, you can even throw the regular frames in here. They fit as well. Regular frames are a little bit heavier than uh, the ones that I built. I only built a little uh, small amount on the top here. But I think uh, these frames, whoever the manufacturer is, just builds them a little, a little thicker than I'm used to. So we'll see. Maybe the next frames, frame batch I build, they'll be a little thicker too. But that's it. Uh, bees are moved into the frame, into the horizontal hive. Uh, got some spacers on. Got another box ready to go. So now I can work on another horizontal hive for the next move. Uh, the first one was. Uh, prototype so now I can make some improvements and uh, I'll keep you informed so that's it for another beautiful night in the Ozarks as usual like if you like subscribe if you haven't we'll talk soon